Welcome to the First State Bank pregame show. Three weeks ago, Wayne County rolled into a home at 0-2. And, and we found out as we talked about there is no place like home because the past two weeks, Wayne County has soared. The Eagles spread their wings tonight and fly north to P -p 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 Pearl, Mississippi to take on the Pirates in the first district game of the season. A team that's uh, three and one with one loss that's come against the number four ranked team in the state of Mississippi, the Northwest ranking Cougars. Uh, it's a new season. I know Marcus Bowles and company would like uh, nothing better than to take their first step tonight with a district win toward another district championship. Kenny, what can we look for out of the P -p 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 Pirates tonight? Well, Mel, I'll tell you. <laughs> you might want to try singing that. <laughs> Might do better. A uh, lot of lot of uh, aggressiveness. Uh, what we'll see is our kids flying to the football. Uh, very aggressive on defense. Offensively, they're a physical football team, and uh, that's something that John Perry believes in. He has ever since he was assistant coach at Wayne County. He believes in being physical. So what we'll see tonight is we'll see a bunch of kids line up and really get after you on offense and defense. Paul, you've uh, been around this week and listen. What you got to report on what we think is going to see out of the Pirates tonight? Well, just like Kenny said, I mean, uh, they did a neat little thing. They walked through the tailgating area, and then right before we went on the air, walked right down the middle of the field. Not a very big team. I mean, you know, they're not very big on the hoof, but but they're going to get after it, and they're going to uh, they're going to give it everything they've got and give Wayne County all that they can handle. The big thing is, and it's something that Marcus Bulls has preached all week long, is don't let them hang around. I mean, you know, I mean, because they'll hang around as long as we let them. Just like uh, we were singing. Yeah, just like ago. we were singing a while ago. <laughs> and it didn't work to crack you up. But, yeah, yeah. but seriously, I mean, Marcus wants to jump on them early, take the fans out of the mix. This has, this has a feel. I mean, I don't want to compare previous years, but it has a feel like pedal in 05 whenever we went down there. You know, pedal was undefeated. Riding high, they were they were you know sky high. Pearl's kind of that same way, you know. They're three and one. They've had a lot of success. They've had some big wins. They'd love nothing better than to knock off a Wayne County to start district play. And you mentioned district play. I'll get back to you in a minute, Kenny. We mentioned district play. Uh, you know, this is where the, this is what it's all on the line when you're talking about playoffs. And uh, on paper, you know, we're starting with a team in our district that's about as tough as it gets. Yeah, I mean, you got you can't dispel Brookhaven. I mean, everybody's a little surprised that they're undefeated, especially with some of the wins that they've had and, and all the losses that they had from graduation and a new staff coming in, and yet they're undefeated. So Brookhaven's down there, but Pearl is ranking right up there. The The thing is, is like with a Brookhaven, a Macomb, a West Jones, a South Jones, you know pretty much what you're going to get because they've been in the South for so long, and, and a lot of them have been in our district. The difference with Pearl, they're coming out of the north. They're kind of an unknown, and so you don't know exactly what you're going to get. And these two teams haven't played each other in over a decade. So, you know, you don't know what the atmosphere and the ambiance is going to be like around here. One thing that's working, and I know you you probably can address this, we see Coach Boyles in here, everybody's hugging him and remembers him. He was on staff up here, and everybody loves him. And some of the coaches that were here said that they talked about coming to Wayne County at one time. Uh, the head coach up here and Marcus or the Coach Boyles are, are friends. And, I mean, you know, I know the deal with Coach, he said he never wanted to coach against Bobby Hall again because they were buddies, and they're kind of forced, probably forced into this. This is an interesting little twist. Well, it is. And, you know, John Perry coached when he coached at Wayne County High School. Marcus was there. Uh, of course, Coach Hall was there. And then John left and went to Kosciuszko, and uh, we went up there and played in a couple of uh, – uh, we had a spring game, I think, and then we, we had a, uh, I think, fall jamboree one time maybe with them. And, of course, John and, and a lot of these coaches try to work together, and, and especially if they get an opportunity to, to play a good team and uh, and to see, you know, sort of get a feel for where they are. But John is the kind of guy that, that if, you, if folks remember him from, from Wayne County, he was intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this, this man is super focused on what he does. And so often – Football teams take on the personality or character of their, their head coach. And, uh, and so with John Perry, this is going to be an intense, focused uh, group of, of athletes. They played Northwest West Rankin tough and lost that game, not by a huge margin. Uh, they played uh, Brandon, beat them. I mean, so they they are an experienced football team. I'm glad we're catching them now rather than catching them earlier in the year because, you know, we had a ways to go. I mean, Pedal and, and Meridian, we didn't play well on both sides of the football, those those football games. We played a lot better against Mendenhall and, uh, and then George County. So we're catching them at a good time for us. Uh, but hopefully this week off is, is not going to have the effect of having our kids kind of 
lay back a little bit because, like Paul said, he's right. You know, we've, we've played folks that, you know, on paper we were supposed to beat, and then we didn't play well first half. So uh, tonight, hopefully, we'll come out and we don't have any mishaps or whatever because, as Paul said, this is a bunch that can whip you, and, and uh, they, they can, if you don't get them behind you and get them behind you early and get them down a couple, three scores, you're going to be in for a long night. Well, it won't be long till we'll get this thing kicked off. And before we do, we're going to have Coach Marcus Bowles uh, with us in our first State Bank pregame show. So we're going to take a break uh, to hear from our friends at First State Bank. We're serving you is what they do best. And we'll be back with the head coach of the War Eagles after this commercial. Welcome back to the First State Bank pregame show. And here we are with the head coach of the War Eagles, Coach Bowles. Coach, uh, we finished up our non-district play, and uh, we had a week off. And uh, what did you do during your week off? What were you all able to accomplish, do you think, during your week off? Well, you know, we looked, went back and looked at some things that we uh, need to work on, some things that we're not doing very good. We, we worked on that. I think we got better in some areas. We also uh, put in some new things, offensively and defensively, some things that uh, we felt like that uh, our kids were ready to handle. So it was a good, productive week for us. Okay. I guess everybody's healthy and rested up after the after the. After the they are. Everybody's ready to go. No, no, no problems this week. Okay. What do you tell your kids now? We've had the nine district games. We're moving into district. Uh, things the Annie's raised a little bit. So, what do you do with your kids? Do you preach that to them? Do you talk to them about that? Oh yeah, we talk to them about starting out one and zero in the district. You don't want to start out zero and one by any means. You know, we need to win this first district game, uh, and you know it's important to uh, come up here at Pearl and play good and get off to a fast start tonight. Uh, what do we, can we look for? out of the Pirates tonight. What are we going to see on this field out of them? Well, I, you're going to see a well-coached football team. I think from from their offensive standpoint, a good quarterback, um, a Summers kid, and then also a big receiver, uh, DJ Thompson. That's, uh, when I say big, 6'4", 200 probably. That's pretty big. Yeah, <laughs> good speed, not not blazing speed, but good speed, great hands, going to run very good routes. Uh, defensively, you go see a four-man front. Uh, that's go play a lot of man in the secondary, and they do a pretty good job with that. And so we got to work cut out, cut out for us on the offensive side of the ball tonight. What do you want to? What you know? A couple of weeks ago, you said you wanted to start out. Usually, establish a run. You want to start with the pass. What are you thinking tonight? Uh, we need to get to the perimeter. We need to get the ball in the perimeter. Whether it be speed sweeps, options, or quick passes, we need to get the ball in the perimeter and use our speed to our advantage. One last question. I know you coached here. I've seen a lot of people greeting you during the, you know as y'all rolled up and everything. You got a very good friend on the other side. Is it kind of strange coach you get somebody that you get along real well, real well? It is. You know, you'd rather coach against somebody you don't really like. So <laughs> it's a little different. Now, and two good years here. Good, two good years, fond memories. A lot of people I made friends with and, uh, you know, I think the respect is mutual there. So uh, it's it's a little different coming back here, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Coach, we appreciate you taking time pregame. We'll, we'll say bye and check out for the First State Bank pregame show and be back with a kickoff between the Pirates and your Wayne County High School Warriors. Eagles. See you after the break. 